What's going on everybody? My name is Rev and welcome back to another Dauntless video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the armor that I have power surged. I'm going to be giving my insight on what I think is good, what is worth power surging, what is worth power surging first. I put together a little guide on Twitter. Um, I'll actually just like post that right now so you guys can see it and I'll leave it in the description. It's like a good little cheat sheet of what you can do with all the different armors and where what activities they're good for um hopefully that helps you but what we're going to be doing today is hopping into moira we're going to look at what i do have points in and i'm just going to kind of go down the list and talk about what is good and we're going to be starting with the thing here at the top which is an exotic helmet called tragic echo i have it power surge for trials specifically um, Tragic Echo is just kind of like a niche slash fun helmet. It resurrects you when you die for a, like, I think it's like 15 seconds. And for that 15 seconds, when you die, um, you come back to life as like a shadow clone and you deal additional damage. So it's like a last hurrah sort of all or nothing uh, resurrection. It's just kind of like a fun thing to play with. It looks really cool. Um, but overall, it's really used in trials when it's a really, really quick kill. Um, you can get faster times. It's like a really big blitz sort of build. And um, yeah, other than that, it's mainly used in trials or for fun in hunting grounds. Uh, moving on to Nasher, a very common starter set. Uh, I used to recommend this all the time, and I still kind of do. Uh, the boots and the gloves are the main contenders here. The the chest and helm are very forgettable. Um, but the they offer tough, which is great for starters. You get extra health and healing from all sources. And then you also get Rage Hunter, which is a great passive damage benefit. Uh, they also have two power sockets, which is really good for the early game to get a, um, more extra damage. Um, really great on your first pass through. But after you kind of prestige your first thing and get your uh weapon prestiged um you're you kind of just graduate from this and you don't come back to it till much much later next up is quill shot another niche set which is really only used for either war pike or wound builds or uh, fights that have the modifier thick hide thick hide makes it so uh, when you wound a part that part takes 300 percent additional damage savagery is also one of the highest damage modifiers in the game. It goes all the way up to 100%, so you can kind of see how those two things are kind of busted together. Um, but yeah, again, very niche, and wounding in general just isn't very strong in Dauntless. Um, a pseudo top tier pick, I would say, is Charog. This is kind of like the opposite of Nasher. It's not good at all early game, but once you get to late game and more meta style builds, you have like full cells and all that stuff. These two pieces become very strong in trials and general farming builds. You'll alternate them between Boreas. Like anytime you don't need Iceborne from the Boreas set, you can use the Charog boots. So it's very flexible for low life builds in the late late game. The gloves are just kind of nice for Catalyst if you ever need it or Conduit. Um, what we're really looking for here, you'll notice that a lot of armor in Dauntless provide the perk Rage. I don't know if that's out of like in on purpose of Phoenix Labs, but it's just kind of the way it is. So low life builds that provide extra damage when you're at 50% life or lower, uh, you'll be dealing, uh, with this perk quite a bit. Uh, next is Embermane. I didn't boost that at all. A very solid like mid game contender is Hellion. So this is kind of like the step up from Nasher on your first path through. Um, I highly recommend crafting the helmet and the chest and the gloves, mainly because um, it has such a nice balance of, like you'll notice Rage Hunter on the helmet and a technique slot. You'll notice an attack speed perk called Molten and a technique slot. You can put damage and attack speed in these technique slots. Um, very flexible cell slot. And then you also have more attack speed with a power slot. So it's just like damage perks out the wazoo. Really great um, step up from Nasher. And it's also particularly good for the first pass for repeater players. Um, Hellion's a really great all-rounder set, and I highly recommend it for a first pass. Uh, Torgadoro is a keystone behemoth that comes from Blaze Escalation. Honestly, it's pretty forgettable. I have it kind of 
power surge just because I can. Um, these boots really only are used in hammer builds in blaze escalation because it's all based around stagger damage and knockout king is pretty insane for that. Um, and then the gloves just have overpower. Overpower is another cell that you're just going to have in like almost every single build. Um, and so upgrading these just kind of comes naturally. However, I don't really use them just because a lot of these, um, you'll notice in the Boreas gloves, there's a lot of power sockets going around. Like there's a plethora of ways to get overpower. So it's very rare that I use these, but they have a good perk in them. So I power surge them. Very, this the, these two would be like the very last thing I ever power surge. Um, now this is speaking of things that I wouldn't power surge. Let's hop away to like the number one slot where pretty much you want to power surge these three things right out the gate, uh, which would be the boots, chest, and then the gloves in that order for me personally. Um, this set is so ridiculously strong. Um, not necessarily in the early game, but it picks up the longer that you keep playing. And the reason for that is that you have Iceborne. As you get more established in cells, you're going to be able to utilize Iceborne and low life builds, and you're just never going to die. You're going to take tons of reduced damage. You have life steal. You have tons of damage because you're at 50% life. It activates Blitz Tonics to be even better and it's the meta of Dauntless. This is a very staple armor set, highly recommended. Um, not right out the gate. It is still good, but it's not its maximum potential. Uh, however, once you power surge it, it becomes very, very strong. Uh, so con uh, consider power surging this as your first armor set, and we'll go over what helmet to craft next. Pangar, very forgettable. Scray, very forgettable. Karabak, very forgettable. This is like a very niche, I have a soft spot for these boots, but we can just ignore them because they're kind of boring and not very good anymore. Uh, so we have another very strong armor set in Koshai. Koshai is a little bit more niche. It provides a perk called Predator that as so long as you haven't taken damage um, for 15 seconds, you get a passive damage boost. So as, if you're really good at dodging, um, and this mainly comes into play in trials where if you get hit, you just kind of lost the speed run sort of thing. Um, the better you can dodge, the more damage you're going to deal. This is a top tier set for trials. Um, however, it doesn't really see play out in the hunting grounds and um, only only really repeaters use it outside of um, like in escalation and stuff like that. So if you're a repeater player, consider crafting this stuff up, but you can kind of hold off on it unless you're really gung ho about going into trials. I did the gloves because um, while they aren't used as much as the other pieces, the chest and the boots, uh, they do have a vase of fury and a power socket. They do come in clutch sometimes, but uh, I rarely use these. The next armor set is Drask, which is a really great starter set as well. Way back when Dauntless first started getting kicked off, uh, Drask armor, the two-piece Drask with two-piece Nasher was kind of like the, the, the newbie starter set. And I would say, honestly, that that is still pretty much true. Like, you can definitely still go that route. Um, if you're all about like lanterns and stuff, but if you're not using your lanterns, you don't really get a lot of value from etheric attunement. Etheric attunement in general has just kind of gone down in value, so I don't really recommend it. The main reason that you choose it is for the two um, power sockets on this armor. Moving on to another uh, trials based armor piece, the Malkarian gloves. Malkarian is a keystone behemoth for the shock escalation. These gloves are used a ton in trials. Um, they pretty much provi they provide predator, so they pretty much fill the same role as Koshai, um, but it's just another source of predator, and they get used quite a bit. Um, however, they don't see much play outside of repeaters or trials gameplay. Uh, this is a helmet that is very niche to the sword. Sword is my main weapon. I utilize this helmet quite a bit in just like fun sword builds, but I would say this is probably one of the least. Uh, very low tier uh, thing that I would power surge, very low on the list. The opposite goes for the Rezakuri helmet. This is the helmet that finishes off the Boreas armor set. You use the Reza helm with three Boreas pieces and you have yourself a low life damaging machine. It's a solid set. 
and uh, I highly recommend getting the helm first and then also getting the gloves. The gloves do the same thing as the helmet, Conduit 3, Conduit 3 with the Technique slot. Very, very solid choices here. Some of the best armor in the game. Highly recommended Power Surging as the, um, the first armor sets that you do Power Surge. I would probably go Boreas, Reza, and then maybe Shroud. That would probably be my top three. So we have Valamir next up. A lot of people like this for survivability, but Boreas just does it better. Uh, it is a later game set, so if survival is kind of your thing, you could go with Valamir. I don't recommend it personally. Riftstalker is very forgettable. And speaking of not forgettable things, though, we have Shroud. Shroud fills in the role of Boreas. So if Boreas is to do low life with survival, Shroud is to do low life without the Iceborne and just get more damage value out of it. Great for trials. You use these alongside um, other low life armor pieces like Reza Gloves, Chara Boots. You're not always using the Helm and Chest together. You'll notice that they both provide Rage and a Power Socket. Very, very strong. So you, here's more of those Rage pieces that I was talking about at the start of the video. Um, overall, just a great late game set. Like Shroud is one of the last behemoths, if not the last behemoth you'll fight um, in the hunting grounds. So yeah, you're not going to be getting this right away, but it is definitely worth power surging once you've kind of established yourself. You're going to be using this. Um, it has a ton of crossover for escalation, trials, and all that good stuff. Kind of that like top three all fill the same role is like you're going to be using them in all different types of game modes so the value is really high on those um a, another set that is very powerful but only really niche to um escalation game mode and some trials is the thrax armor you can ignore the gloves i accidentally power surged these and i didn't mean to um i thought they did something else but the chest and the boots are very very strong they provide cunning Anytime crit is good, Thrax is good. So there's a perk in Escalation called Virulent Impact that amplifies your crit damage, and um, it deals all the damage to both behemoths. It's like a split damage sort of thing. It's kind of hard to explain to a new player uh, how it works, but basically anytime you crit, you deal extra damage, and it pops. It's probably the highest damaging amplifier in the game. It's insane. And so um, you get cunning and a technique slot. Very, very strong armor set when crit is good. Um, this is probably pretty low on the totem pole for things to power surge, uh, unless you're really, really farming escalation. Other than that, that's all I really have. Agarus is the latest behemoth to be released, Dauntless, and I didn't even touch their armor. Um, other than that, that's gonna pretty much do it for armor. Uh, hopefully this video helped you in some way, shape, or form. Again, that image will be, uh, like my little cheat sheet, will be in the description. If you want to support the channel, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I'll catch you on Twitch, I'll catch you here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.